Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a reaction, as I fix my chair, to the China women's team having a decent run in the Olympics, in their first Olympics. Obviously, China uh, hockey would not be the first sport for them. Um, they were able to, because of the dual nationality, uh, yeah, uh, people got on them for using that, but they are allowed to use it. I don't love it either, but they're allowed to use it. It's in the rules, so they might as well use it, and they took advantage of it. Uh, rightfully so, and they're able to get some good wins, like a win over uh, Japan in their, uh, their rival as well, which is great to see, and they played a good game, losing 3-1 to to the Czech Republic, but played a competitive game, beat Denmark 3-1, to and Denmark was very competitive and very um, spunky in this tournament themselves, I did a video on them, uh, I don't want to give it away, so that's why I'm just using those adjectives, check out that video in the Women's Olympic Hockey Players, if you want to check out my overall thoughts on Denmark. And as a whole, China played well. They beat Japan. They beat Denmark. Played a good game against the Czech Republic. Just barely uh, lost to Sweden. Um, so, uh, who played really well. Sweden was immensely well, played immensely well, excuse me, up to their loss to Canada, which is expected. And uh, China, I think you would have to give their grade to the host country. They took advantage of dual nationality. So that lowers their grade because if they just used, as people even from their country, I was reading articles, were displeased by the fact of how many people they took that don't have direct ties to China, I would have to give it a C plus. They played overall well, but that does lower your grade because you didn't get to honor your country to the full effect because you took the dual nationality guys uh, and girls because the guys team did it as well. And then for this video, the, the women's team, they took all the dual nationality, like Kimberly Newell, who wasn't allowed to speak English and others that played really well, so that factored into their good play. Otherwise, it would be graded higher a little bit, but not much. It would probably just be a uh, B- minus if we move them up from a C to a C-plus category, but I'll give them a C. They were very good as hosts. Um, uh, th th they, they performed well enough. It's just I would have liked to see them honor overall grade for the tournament. They get a C because I would have liked to see them honor, just as I read in articles, I'm new to women's hockey, but... For the men's and women's side of China, I would have liked to see them honor their country more, just as people from China were kind of saying via the articles I've read. They weren't pleased with how much people would not direct ties. I understand why they did it for competitive reasons, and obviously that's why their grade um, is as high as it is as a CC plus category, but I think it would have been better, and I probably would have graded them higher if they were competitive by actually honoring their folks more and not picking people from overseas as much. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed this video reacting to China's run for the women's team in the Olympics. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please subscribe above these views widget or down below on these views. Subscribe button. Help us get to 200 by the end of February.